What is vitamin D? How do you get enough of it? What will happen if your levels are low? Hi, I'm your orthodox Dr. Samir. Today we will be talking all about vitamin D and its effect on calcium metabolism. Vitamin D can be synthesized in your skin if you get adequate sunlight exposure. However, in today's world, neither do we go out in the sun that much and even when we do go out, we wear full clothes. So our skin doesn't get enough sunlight exposure for vitamin D to be synthesized adequately in our body. This leaves dietary sources. In that, there is no vegetarian or vegan source of vitamin D. Trust me, I am a vegetarian, I have researched this and there is no source of vitamin D in the vegetarian or vegan diet. Sometimes you may see some misleading articles saying fortified cereals and fortified juices are sources of vitamin D. However, fortified simply means that vitamin D has been added to these things. That cannot make it a good source of vitamin D. So the third thing you can do is take vitamin D supplements. So how do you know whether you need vitamin D supplements or not? If you get any symptoms of vitamin D deficiency, for example, body ache, muscle spasm, muscle pains, recurrent bone pains, which keep going and coming, this could be a sign of vitamin D deficiency in adults. In children, you get rickets. For more information on rickets, bow legs and changes in development of children due to vitamin D deficiency, watch our detailed video on rickets. Coming to vitamin D deficiency in adults, you must measure your vitamin D levels, especially if you are a vegetarian at regular intervals. The vitamin D should be around 40. If it is much lesser than 40, you will start getting symptoms and they will be more severe the lower your vitamin D level is. This can affect the absorption of calcium from your food. This can affect the deposition of calcium into your bones, making your bones weak and prone to fractures. Your orthopedic surgeon will ask you to get a vitamin D level done. He might ask you to get some x-rays done. And from that, he will be able to make out if you have vitamin D deficiency and associated osteomalacia. Osteomalacia means a weakening or thinning of the bones, which happens mainly due to vitamin D deficiency. This is different from osteoporosis. For details on osteoporosis, you can watch our detailed video on osteoporosis. Once you have identified that you have a vitamin D deficiency, you must decide whether you want to take injectable supplements or oral supplements. If your vitamin D levels are very low, your orthopedic surgeon might recommend that you take intramuscular injections of vitamin D. Remember that vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin and there is such a thing as hypervitaminosis or excess of vitamin D. So you must always take vitamin D supplements only under medical supervision. Taking oral supplements is also an option. However, the oral supplements take time to absorb. The nano preparations of these vitamin D supplements are usually better and they get absorbed faster. That's all about vitamin D and do like, share and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions about this topic, you can ask us in the comments. Thank you.